Welcome to the Mesozoic Media Park. The goal for this park is to fill it with as many movie, show, and documentary dinosaurs as we possibly can. This time we will be wrapping it up with the final two episodes of Walking with Dinosaurs. We have some awesome animals to add in this one. Okay, how's it going everybody? This time we are doing the final two episodes of Walking with Dinosaurs, that being Spirit of the Ice Forests and The Death of a Dynasty. Two very, very awesome uh, episodes that have some very awesome dinosaurs in them. Um, you'll also notice that this episode is a little bit early, and the reason for that is because I want to get Walking with Dinosaurs wrapped up so we can uh, move on to some more projects, of course, because, you know, we can't have the whole thing just being taken up by Walking with Dinosaurs, even though it is literally a peak documentary. Um, regardless, let's get this started. So first we're going to do the spirit of the, uh, I, I keep putting the in front of stuff, for, even though there is no the. First we'll start off with spirit of the ice forests. Um, in this episode there is Mudaburosaurus and there's also Australovenator. They call it the Polar Allosaurus in the, in the episode. In, in actuality that would have been a Megaraptor known as uh, Australovenator. So we'll place both of those guys into this park. So that means we can go ahead and get started on that. So just uh, this, pro this enclosure probably doesn't need to be too too crazy big. Just a nice little, little rectangular thing. Oh no I made it too close. Like, like so, expand this way a little bit. Now what I'm kind of thinking is portraying it with uh, a river running through the middle, similar to how it's portrayed in the episode, and just have forests on either side. Uh, and hopefully this looks kind of nice, I'm, I'm hoping so. Too bad I can't like add ice and, or like snow and stuff like that on this map, because that might, you know, just make, make it a little bit different. Now, unfortunately, Leelanosaura is not in this game, so we can't include those little dudes. Unless I put another another thing in place of them, like uh, Dryosaurus. I might just do that. We'll see. I'll, I'll see what I decide by the end of the, the episode. Okay, and then we'll place a river. Running through this, and the river is actually decently large in this one, so I think I'll go ahead and represent that pretty pretty decently. Of course, I don't want it to take up all the space in the world, but, you know, still. And then we get our handy little paintbrush, and probably just dirt on the edges, honestly. Differentiate it from the rest of it. Rest of the stiff, rest of the environment. Who did I see flying? Was that the Ornithochirus, a.k.a. Tropicnathus? Yeah. I don't know if it was Petrie. And then I'm going to place this type of ground uh, to make the environment look like look like it fits that a lot more you know i really want the train to look very unique in this enclosure it's a little bit of rock so there are rocks on that shore the shore that i'm thinking of let's choose the, this type of tree yeah it's not nearly as dense as i'd prefer hmm about oh, this tree Still not too dense. I mean, the vegetation does look extremely similar to something like this, essentially. Uh, so that's what I'm wanting to do, but it's not nearly as dense as I'd initially hope. So maybe I can kind of just have like a diverse array of different vegetation. Kind of like that, maybe. Where it's like, I have some of this kind of scattered all over the place. Kind of. A little bit. Hmm. I think I changed my mind on the water a little bit too. I think I want to make it a little bit more wavy. Like, maybe like this a little bit. I don't know. Like, this type of rock is the most pebbly in appearance. Because, you, you know, like, and take this image for example. There's a, a just a lot of rocks present on the beach right there. Um, so that's really the, the type of look that I'm trying to capture as best as I, as I possibly can, you know? Uh, there's also, like, some wood on that shoreline right there, so I could probably place down a, a tree as some decoration, or like a downed tree. Alright, I mean, you know, it doesn't look terrible. I think it captures... I think it, I think it looks kind of kind of decent. Now let's place a, like a few decorations in here. Like our trusty log that appeared in one of the scenes in Jurassic Park, and the stampede scene to be specific. Let's place it like... I can't... See, I can't get too close, you nerd. There we go. Like that. Okay, what else do I have? I think this will probably suffice. I don't really mind that. I think it's a pretty nice enclosure. 
And then right next to it, what I'm kind of thinking is maybe not next to it, but maybe kind of like connecting these two. I want to create the Hell Creek formation from the final episode. Of course, the episode with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, because, of course, Hell Creek is portrayed as sort of a volcanic landscape in the in the show. So that really matches Disney's dinosaur, uh, you know, in its landscape, and it matches the mysterious beyond that we see in the land before time. So I think it would probably fit in pretty well if I placed it right here, even though there is actually some vegetation present. Um, so I will represent both of those. Uh, so what, like, what is portrayed is just a lot of volcanic rock. So of course, just a lot of this everywhere. That takes up the majority of everything, essentially. Like that. Also like that. But on top of that, there is, again, I think I already said that, but there is some, some vegetation present, too. Very sparsely, but it is present. There are some forests. It kind of looks similar to this stuff right here. Or dirt. Try to make this as grassless as possible. Interesting fact, uh, the Hell Creek Formation, like the real life Hell Creek Formation, was actually a lot more similar to the Florida Everglades of today. As in, it was a lot more like a wetland, it was kind of swampy in, in its overall environment. It definitely wasn't the type of um, you know volcanic landscape that we see in Walking with Dinosaurs and in Prehistoric Park after that. Just a little fun fact right there. When I was when I was younger, I always thought that was the type of environment the T-Rex lived in, simply because that's how we saw it. Uh, but no, it lived in a very, very lush environment. The Hell Creek Formation was, was very diverse in terms of plant life. Now, the creatures I want to place in this enclosure are um, the uh, Taurosaurs, because I love Taurosaurus, and I, I don't know if we'll ever get an opportunity to place it in, a, in the park after this. And uh, the T-Rex, of course. And I'll place two T-Rexes. -T so uh, we'll get them going. And our final arrival is here. So, there we have it. These are the final two additions to the Walking with Dinosaurs section of the park. Well, I say section, but like the last few episodes. And this is certainly an interesting mixture of colors. <laughs> it's not the prettiest park, but it is one of the coolest. Because you got a lot of celebrities who live here. Um... Regardless, let's look at the animals. So, as I mentioned before, in the episode, it is mentioned as being, like, it's it's called the Polar Allosaurus. Um, that is, of course, not the case. Now, I think at the time, it was known from very fragmentary remains. So, not, what, not a lot was known about both the specific genus and this group of dinosaurs in general. Nowadays, they're known as the Megaraptora, and Australovenator was the Australian... Uh, one of the Australian animals that belonged to that order of, of uh, theropods. Very freaky animals, like look at their claws. This, this actually represents their huge arms and claws very nicely. They seem to be animals that prioritize their, their hands over their bite because they seem to have a relatively weak bite force compared to their massive arms that had a wider range of motion than most other theropod dinosaurs did. It's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the quote-unquote Polar Allosaurus. Um, and then the Mudaburosaurus. Mudaburosaurus, I love Mudaburosaurus. Um, very, very, very interesting animal. And I, I actually really like the model that they have in this game. Um, fun fact about them, they were actually uh, uh, bipedal animals, uh, but were able to switch to a quadrupedal stance if they were like taking a drink or something. It's just a fun fact. And that, of course, they do have that awesome looking nose right there. Um, it looks very funky on the skeleton, but as portrayed right here, it would have been covered in soft tissue and could have even been used to possibly amplify their noises. Yeah, similar to that. <laughs> very cool indeed. Uh, so those are our, these are our Australian dinosaurs, which is very cool. Australian dinosaurs are awesome. Um, so now let's get over to North America, and we have, first of all, we have the Taurosaurs. I love Taurosaurus. Easily one of my favorite Ceratopsian dinosaurs. Um, so, of course, they were in the show, or, yeah, in the episode, 
They did not interact with T-Rex, but again, I wanted to add them because I don't know if we'd ever get the opportunity to have Triceratorosaurus in the game, so or in this park, so we have them right here. And with them is the star, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I, I got two of them to represent the male and female that we see in the episode. And yeah, I didn't know that this skin, like this color, existed in the game. I was actually really happy when I found it, because it's not too far off from the colors in the show. I just wish we were able to give it a red throat. I think that would look really awesome, because that's one of my favorite uh, color designs in the in the... Uh, on the model regardless still very cool this is our third t-rex to be added to the game first was being sharp tooth over here uh so now we got three of them very cool stuff but yeah again this was a kind of an earlier episode i wanted to get walking with dinosaurs finished i didn't want to drag it off too long uh, because i do want to get to more movies and shows i think our next movie will probably be ice age 3 that has been requested a lot and i think it'd be a lot of fun to do so expect to see that next week uh as this video is being uploaded i am currently out of town so i won't be able to reply to comments and things like that but rest assured i will read them eventually um, that the same goes for the next few videos that I'll be uploading. I'm kind of like pre-recording them now and going to be scheduling them for like before I leave because where I'm going, there's not going to really be any Wi-Fi, so I can't check on things. It'll be very stressful indeed, but you know, regardless, it'll be it'll be a fun time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Look how cool they look when they're walking like that. I love that. Love this game. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day.